Oh, people, Trump derangement syndrome is real. And I'm about to show you even more examples because I, I showed some in the video I did yesterday. And now there's even more to show you, bruh. So let's 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 get right into this, bruh. Example number one. The former president raised a lot of eyebrows with these comments while talking to listen to the audience, a black conservative conference. He said this. I got indicted a second time and a third time and a fourth time. And a lot of people said that that's why the black people like me, because they have been hurt so badly and discriminated against. And they actually viewed me as I'm being discriminated against. My, the mugshot, we've all seen the mugshot. And you know who embraced it more than anybody else? The black population. It's incredible. You see black people walking around with my mugshot. You know, they do shirts. When you heard that, what did you think? <sighs> Big sigh. First of all, I'm just going to say this. If I see a black person walking around with Trump mugs, I'm going to punch him in the face. Charles. I know, Gil, 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 Gil. You you really can't say that because, A, you don't mean that. Oh, I mean that sincerely. (laughs) I'm going to just tell you something. And then you will be arrested for assault. And then what? I'm going to bail myself out and go celebrate. (laughs) If I... Don't encourage him. Don't encourage him. Okay, but go ahead. Seriously. Continue. (laughs) First of all, if I was at that... At that conference, yeah. I'd have got up and walked out. That was an insult to all black people. Because mm-hmm. he's basically just saying, and first of all, black, to, to compare black history where we've been discriminated against to his plight. Yes. Well, first of all, he's a billionaire. Mm-hmm. And they're prosecuting him for stuff he did wrong. They're prosecuting him for stuff he did wrong. And for him to it's compare... It's still in the court system, Charles. We have to wait. It's still in the court system. But continue, continue. Well, continue. They, some of the stuff is true. They did storm the Capitol. Well, people, yeah. They did say that the, the election was stolen. Those yeah. aren't lies, Gail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are They facts. did say that. They okay. did say that. But to compare, I would have got up and walked out. Mm-hmm. Because it's not a fair comparison. Mm-hmm. You know, he's a billionaire. He's had a great life. He's been president of the United States. To insult black people who have been discriminated against all these years, to put them in the same category, I, 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 I was just offended. So, there you go. He was very offended, you see. So, I mean, the first observation is this kind of a mischaracterization of what he said. So, it seems a lot like what he's doing is, is called, like, looking at things and just observing what's going on around him. He's not saying that Black people are more prone to embrace me because I have a mugshot. He's saying that that's just how it's turned out. And that they see, they resonate with him because they, because, you know, in, in history, for example, slavery, there was a lot of injustice against black people. Now there's injustice as they see it against Trump. Right, which it doesn't mean that they think that it's equal to slavery or that they think that what's happening, or that Trump thinks that what's happening to him is equal to slavery. This is dumb. Second of all, he says, well, Trump's not a victim because he's a billionaire. Bro, do you want to do you want to look at some of the cases, bro? Do you want to look at how much he lost to E. Jean Carroll in, in that case? Do you want to look at how much he lost recently in the New York case with Judge Engeron? Brother, combined total of those two cases, he lost nearly 430 million. Is he a billionaire anymore at this point? Bro, if they keep draining his finances, bro, I don't know how much longer he's going to be a billionaire for, in all honesty. So, and I mean, is this the people they have on CNN? I don't want to be mean to this guy. Because maybe he's new at this. This Charles Barkley. But he didn't even really finish a sentence. Like, I noticed twice at the start when he began ranting, after he threatened to punch black Trump voters in the face, or black voters with, with Trump mugshots, whatever it may be. Right? I Like, I noticed that twice he went to say a sentence, and then he just didn't say it. He just completely sidetracked. So, I mean, like, is this the people you have on who can't even formulate a sentence anymore? Is is this who's doing, I suppose, political analysis for CNN? This this guy. That's, that's clip number one, right? Because there is, of course, more. Because there has to be more. Because how could there not be more? ...of the United States and There's a rational... This woman act- here, Rachel Maddow. Oh, okay. Let's, let's just, let's just, let's speak, let's speak. You know, if you think about the, the court as the Supreme Court of the United States and a rational actor and a decent one, that was a reasonable supposition, and it just turns out they're not that. 
um, feel, you know, incremental bit of progress here. The important question here is not whether the Supreme Court is going to decide that Donald Trump and all presidents are immune from prosecution for things they commit, crimes they committed while they were president. I mean, it would be fully insane for them to actually side with Trump here, right? The conclusion that we can arrive at now based on what they have done without having to wait for the ruling is that they are ensuring that Trump will not face trial. And when they inevitably rule that presidents aren't immune from prosecution after they leave office, what that will tell Donald Trump, if by then he is president, is that he can never leave the office of the presidency. Right. And if he is voted out in 2028, he cannot leave office and he is willing to com he, is, he is welcome to commit any crimes he wants to as long as he is still president in order to ignore the result of that election and stay in power for life, because otherwise he is going to go to prison when he gets out. Um, what? <laughs> so, so, <laughs> sorry, what? <laughs> I mean, that is like twists and turns of logic that I'm really not sure you can apply here. So, I mean, again, we, I think a lot of people accept the fact that presidents have done shady things. And so it might not be a good idea to pull them up on all the shady things they've done, because they'll all be in jail. Some of you might want that, by the way. They'll all be in jail if, if we pulled up presidents through the shady, potentially illegal shit they've done. Right. They could all be in jail. I'm sure we can find some dirt on a lot of them. Bro, I'm sure we can. Try, I understand, bro. I'm sure if you want to find dirt on fucking, I don't know, George W. Bush, bro, I'm sure you could find some shit, bro. Like, I'm sure you could find enough dirt on all presidents, more or less, to put them in jail for who knows how long. This whole thing here where, oh, but now he cannot leave because he'll get convicted when he comes out. No, so, so as far as I understand American politics, right? Maybe, maybe I'm a confused foreigner. Um, when his term ends, especially seeing as this is the second one, he's out automatically. At which point, you are unfortunately free to pursue him again for the bazillionth time. So this is not this. This is the most stupid thing I've ever heard. That somehow, like, oh well, you know, he's he, he's allowed to stay in forever because. If he comes out, he'll be prosecuted for his crimes. It's like, well, I mean, A, this isn't even a particularly hard trade-off. Even if this was true, it's not a hard trade-off. Why don't you just not prosecute him and then let him out of the presidency? It's not a particularly difficult trade-off. You're talking about a dictatorship versus trying to prosecute a man who's nearly 80. Like, what, what, what are you trying to get out of this? So I mean, it's, this is not like, you know, lawyers make deals all the time and shit, bro. So I was like, I don't see why you can't just make a deal here, even if this was the case. But it's obviously not the case, right? When his term runs out, potentially in 2028, if he wins the election this year, then it's it's not like, bro, it's over. At that point, he's out automatically. There isn't like a thing of, oh, he has to stay so he doesn't get convicted, bro. That don't make no sense because... There's no guarantee he gets convicted unless you're literally waiting at the fucking White House entrance with, with the fucking court papers ready to fucking drop another suit on him the moment he leaves. And again, this isn't particularly difficult, bro. Why do you insist on prosecuting the nearly 80-year-old man who is your political opponent You've already, who's already lost over four hundred million in damages? Why do you why do you need to serve up more? You've tried to take him off the ballot, and you 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 like you failed. So he's had to battle you in court for that as well. You've done all of these things, but like he has to stay in power because you're going to serve up even more, brother. Just let that man retire, bro. My goodness, with you people. Just they're rabid, bro. The way that they just chase this man, they won't let him breathe. Let him breathe. And I saw this. This was interesting, bro. It goes to the first video actually, because you know they made out like, oh, you know, 
what Trump said is racist. He's very racist. You're about to hear that's they didn't say it, but they kind of that's what they kind of indicated. So let's see, let's see what this this black individual has to say about Trump. Let's see. Every time he gets on stage, you know, as a black Republican from the inner city, I can't tell you I like Donald Trump, but it has nothing to do with his tennis shoes or indictments. Uh, the majority of black men across America, we do have conservative values. We do have businesses and we want to uh, raise our kids without the undue influence of, of Democrat policies. And so that's what he stands for. And we're going to stand with him every time he gets. So there you go. He, I mean, he refutes the point, at least in his part, that they stand with him because of the whole mugshot thing. Let's refute that. But you see right here. You know, Charles Barkley's offended. And if he sees you at the muck he's going to punch you in the face. But you see this guy right here, he's like, you know. Nah, bro, I, I didn't really give a shit, to be honest with you, bro, because I'm not some thin-skinned weirdo. And I support Trump anyways. So I don't know, you know. Is, is, that, is that really what you want? Do you really want to play this race card game when you've clearly got people out there, black voters who are enthused to vote for for, for Trump? And I mean, you know, there's, there's a, one reason that they also vote for Trump is not just because they like Trump. Because there'll be a lot of people that will vote against Joe Biden for the reason I'm about to show to you now. The final clip. It's on Fox News. I don't watch any of this stuff outside of the clips I see on Twitter. So don't tell me. Don't be in the comments saying, you're just a Fox News lackey or some shit, bro. Because I don't have Fox News in the UK. I don't watch it outside of the clips I see, just for the record. Well, what have you found since the Biden uh, folks have taken over the border? Obviously, a uh, completely different approach than Donald Trump had, which was to turn people back at the border, Title 42. How bad have things gotten for people who own land along the border? Well, this is the worst it's ever been, it, even though the, the numbers don't uh, match what it was before Donald Trump. Donald Trump had the border figured out, and the four years he was president, it was uh, almost non-existent for us. We got spoiled. As soon as Biden took office, we had groups at the House again. We had cut fences. Uh, it, it's been a 24-hour nightmare with Biden being president. Ha! Huh. So, you know, Trump, the guy who wanted to build a wall, right? Shock horror! He's very popular now when, you know, you've got some Americans out there, it seems, who might be against the whole Biden border policy. It's, uh, this is at the bottom of the Biden border crisis. I don't know if it's a crisis. I don't know how many people are flooding in. But it is becoming a big, big issue. And it seems like a lot of people are on, are against Joe Biden on this brand. You know, you, this is what I mean. You're going to flip people over to Trump if you behave like this. But if you don't, if you refuse to close a border at all, you might, you might run into some problems where you might. So the, the thing about it is, is this whole election thing, it might not just be Trump because Trump's amazing and this and he's that, bro. But if you're an incompetent fool, like some would perceive Joe Biden to be, then you're not going to get the votes, but they're all going to vote for Donald Trump. I mean, look at this video, bro. What are these guys doing in the video anyways? They're camped out on I-something Hyundai containers. And they're just standing there looking out on the fucking this little water here. Like, what the fuck are they doing? What even is this barrier? Like, why is this even here? Why have you, you reused containers in the sure? You know what? Sure. It's a rather bizarre place to it's a rather bizarre setup in all honesty, but I mean, yeah, you heard it there. John Ladd is not very happy with the border crisis, as the Fox News have labeled it. So, you know, there's more reason. Trump derangement syndrome is real, people. They want to go after Trump, but apparently none of them, apart from this guy from Arizona. Do any of them want to talk about Joe Biden and the border? And did any of them want to call out Joe Biden and do segments on Joe Biden about how they're offended they are, that he he's... Not acting enough on the border, as 
as a lot of people see it. But I'm just asking, bro. Or, or are they just offended that Trump said, you know, black people relate to me because of, like, I had a mugshot and they relate because they feel like they've been discriminated against. It's not even that offensive of a statement. Well, yeah, let me know what you think down below, people. Bro, I just wanted to show all this to you because the derangement is real. And these lot, they can't act it, bro. They just can't act the fact that this guy is, bro, he just keeps coming back, bro. Donald Trump keeps coming back and they can't act it. They can't act it. They want, I think some of them probably want him out, bro. They want him not running no more. They want him retired off somewhere or in jail or in fucking bankrupt, whatever it may be. But let me know what you think down below, bro. On a scale of one to 10, what was the level of Trump derangement syndrome in this video? Remember to like and subscribe. See ya.